Hello everyone, it is me again, it's HorrorFan34, and welcome back to another video, and welcome to another uh, random listing video, actually, this is going to be another top 10 video. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second before I get to that. Ah. Need a little drink there of iced tea, but um... <clears throat> Today's top ten is going to be a pretty interesting uh, list, um, and if you guys like want to do a response to this, you know you're more than welcome to. I would actually would love to hear your guys this top ten of this list, and it's my top ten favorite twists in a horror movie. So I thought this would be a really cool list to do. It was a pretty tough one too because there is some pretty good twists here and there and all that stuff. And, and horror movies, and you know, there's a lot of pretty bad ones, but there are some good ones, so I chose my top ten personal favorite twists in horror films. So, enough of me rambling, let's get on to the list. <clears throat> you got it right here. Uh, here we go. Number ten, The Sixth Sense. I still think to this day, it's one of the best twists ever. I mean, I remember when I first saw this, back, this came out in 1999, I think I saw this when I was fairly young, I remember seeing it on cable for the first time, like a year after it was released, and it, cre it really did creep me the hell out, like the, especially the girl underneath the bed, and things like that, and, and like I said, for all these movies, like the twists and all that stuff, I'm not going to ruin what the twists are, I'm just going to mention, like, how good these movies are, and things like that, so, me spoiling the twist kind of ruins the point of the video, but, um, but The Sixth Sense, um, love this movie a lot. It's one of my personal favorite uh, Bruce Willis movies. One of M. Night Shyamalan's best movies as well. It's, it's not my... It's... Eh. I'd probably say it is my favorite M. Night Shyamalan film. I do love this movie a lot, The Sixth Sense. Of course, you know the story about Haley Joe Osmond, who has the ability to see dead people. It's a pretty creepy concept. But, um... Wonderful twist in the movie. Love The Sixth Sense. Number nine, Identity. I thought, I mean, I, I know some people were kind of mixed, man, I got an itch on my back for some reason, but I know some people were kind of mixed on the twist of this. Some people really liked it, some people didn't like it. I thought the twist was actually pretty unique in my opinion. It's a pretty cool concept and how the way the movie wraps up with the twist, but the basic idea is that you have these ten strangers stranded at the, on a rainy night in this motel, and the cast of people on here is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this cast is wonderful. John Cusack. Rebecca De Mornay from The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. You have Ray Liotta. Amanda Peet. You have Clea Duvall, who was in The Faculty and Ghosts of Mars. Alfred Molina, who was Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2. John C. McGinley, who's been in a lot of movies. Jake Busey is in the movie. Crew Taylor Vince. John Hawks who I always remember from Dust Till Dawn as the liquor store cashier guy. So it's a pretty cool cast of people, and basically it's like a whodunit kind of like movie. But interesting twist at the end. I, I thought the twist board was pretty effective in my opinion, but I, I love this movie a lot. I mean, I think the twist even made me, love, made me love the movie even more, but love identity. Let me just make sure I'm getting this list correctly. Alright. Let's see. Number eight is a more recent film, but I had to mention it. Get Out. A really, really refreshing horror film in the recent years from 2017. Uh, love this movie. It was my favorite film of the year of, of 2017. Um, I thought the twist in the, at the climax of the film was pretty unique and pretty interesting about what these people are really doing and things like that. I mean, great characters. I love the character that played Chris, or the guy that played Chris, Daniel Kaluuya. I like Allison Williams, Bradley Whitford, and Catherine Keener. I really like the Lil Rel Howery, who played Chris's buddy Rod. I thought he was pretty funny. And uh, Jordan Peele just did a great job directing this. Love Get Out. Number seven, Jacob's Ladder. One of the more underrated horror thrillers from the 90s. 
Um, I, this has uh, Tim Robbins. And the basic idea is that um, Tim Robbins is a guy who comes home from the Vietnam War and he's seen demons and things like that. It's a pretty creepy concept. And the twist at the very end is really interesting as well. I know this has Elizabeth Pena. I know who I know is no longer with us. And Danny Aiello, who I think just passed away this year, which is a shame. Rest in peace, Danny Aiello. But Jacob's Ladder, pretty cool like horror film that deals with the aftermath of the Vietnam War and things like that. Really cool movie. Number six, I believe we're on number six. Yeah, number six. I do have the film on Blu-ray in the three-pack, but Scream. I had to mention Scream because I thought this twist at the time was a genius, and I still think, still think to this day it's a, still a great twist. I mean, for people who haven't seen Scream yet, I don't know what you've been doing. You're missing out. It's one of the best horror films from the 90s. Really clever movie. Really great cast of Nev Campbell, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, Matthew Lillard. Skeet Ulrich, Jamie Kennedy, Rose McGowan, even at Harry Winkler, Drew Barrymore. I mean, just a hell of a cast of people in there. And the whole twist at the end is pretty cool about, you know, Ghostface and things like that. I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm sure most of you would know what I'm talking about if you've seen the film. But I had to put that one in there. Because I remember when I first saw that, I was like, holy shit, you know. So, number five... The Others. Pretty, one of my personal favorite ghost story movies. This is from 2001, I believe. I believe this was 2001, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that doesn't say. That doesn't say on here, but I think it's 2001 where Nicole Kidman uh, basically lives in this house, in this isolated house, which you see kind of like here, can't really see it, but there you go, like this house here, and they're seeing, and it's like, they they, they hear things, and it's a pretty cool ghost story, really cool twist at the end as well, the way it, it all wraps up, it's a pretty creepy movie, but, uh, but, yeah, this is a film that no one ever talks about at all the others. I think it was pretty popular when it was first released. Nowadays it kind of kind of got left in the dust in a way. Number 4, one of the more one of the most criminally underrated um like horror psychological thrillers from the 90s from 1999 the same year as The Sixth Sense, Stir of Echoes. In my opinion, I like this even more than The Sixth Sense. Um, that's just me personally. I love The Sixth Sense, but I like this one a little bit better. Um, it's R-rated. I mean, it's written and directed by David Coop. Now, this is a guy that's written a lot of movies. Who's who is a writer on Jurassic Park, and I mean, you go through his filmography. Uh, Panic Room, he wrote that as well with David Fincher directing. And this is one of the few films he directed. I know he went on to direct like Premium Rush with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And I think, he did, I think he did Secret Window as well with Johnny Depp. But I think this is without a doubt his best film directing-wise. Uh, Kevin Bacon does a wonderful job. Um, yeah, and the basic idea is that, you know, Kevin Bacon's like seeing these ghosts and things like that. And the way it all wraps up is pretty interesting as well. But it's without it, I'd probably say... I'd probably say it's my... Yeah, I'd probably say it's my favorite... Kevin Bacon film. I love this movie a lot. I love Stir of Echoes. It was criminally underrated. Number three, April Fool's Day. I had to mention April Fool's Day. I gotta get the Screen Factory Blu-ray at some point. This is a, a, a DVD-R that I got from Monster Mania. But, I mean, the title says the twist right there, April Fool's Day, where you have a bunch of people going to this um, island, this secluded island for the for the weekend and they're getting picked off one by one or supposedly picked off one by one. And the cast of people in here you have um, Amy Steele from Friday the thirteenth part two. You have Thomas F. Wilson who is Biff from Back to the Future. You have Clayton Rohner who is in Sometimes They Come Back for More. You have 
Deborah Foreman for wax work. I mean, you have a lot of really good people in this. Uh, Ken Olant, who was in summer school and Leprechaun, he's one of the kids in this as well. But really cool movie. I one of the more underrated slashers from the eighties. Number two, Sleepaway Camp. I know people are, pro are probably going to be surprised that it's not my number one, but it was a pretty damn close one for sure for my favorite twist in a horror film. I mean, the back, that final shot right there is one of the, as at, as at the very end of the movie, but, I mean, pe people know this film about Sleepaway Camp. I mean, it stars Felissa Rose. You have Christopher Collette. You have Jonathan Tiersten. I mean, this is just a, a, a such a great 80s slasher film. Really great horror film, like slasher dealing with the camp, things like that. Pretty good gore effects. And that twist, oof, that twist, man, just still gets me to this day. It's a, such a, that's how good of a twist this movie is. Love this movie. And you're thinking, what could be your number one? This one had to be my number one. It's a film I've talked about so many times. I've reviewed this film before. I've mentioned this on a live stream. But it is one of the most criminally underrated movies ever. And without a doubt, my favorite twist in a horror kind of like movie. Frailty. I tell you this, if you have not seen Frailty, I would highly recommend you check this out. Such a cool concept, a really creepy concept, where the idea is that Matthew McConaughey walks into the FBI, meets, a, meets Powers Booth, who's an FBI agent, and he rests in peace. And they're saying that he, he knows who the God's Hand killer is. It's his brother. Powers Booth doesn't believe him, so Matthew McConaughey starts telling the story about him and his brother when they were little kids, and Bill Paxton was their dad. You know, may he rest in peace, Bill Paxton, who also directed this. And Bill Paxton one day gets this vision from God to be a demon killer. So he can, like, see people as demons, and he kills them. And the whole way it wraps up and things like that, it's such a cool concept. Where you, when you see the twist and then you rewatch the film again, you're watching the film from a different perspective. And I think that's what's really cool about this film. And that's why it makes it my favorite horror twist. Because you can look at this twist in so many different ways. It's amazing. Pretty ballsy twist as well, in my opinion. But frailty. Cannot recommend that enough. And there you have it. Those are my top ten favorite twists in a horror movie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.